have a blank canvas guys so everything's been removed except for the battery I'll tuck that uh, red starter wire away and then I'm ready to start installing the interior in this episode I'm gonna be doing the carpet and then call that good next episode after that will be seat reupholstery and putting in the back seat and the rear carpet because of my uh, firewall repair I've got a little something different I gotta do uh, I don't have that tuck-in channel where the uh, carpet used to go so I'll have to figure that out but again for this episode the carpet so let me take you on a little walk what we've got here seven piece black carpet kit I'm gonna drag it up into the sun so that we can uh, flatten out a little bit more and then I'm gonna start gluing pieces in I will be not using the spray and headliner I will be using the glue that came with the uh, headliner kit from J-Bugs that nasty yellow stuff it has held well with the interior uh, with the headliner that I put in so I imagine it will work equally as well here the pieces look pretty good a few little areas I got to trim off some extra string here and there but you know what can you say for TMI they usually do pretty good stuff so I'm gonna be happy with it time to get started all right first three pieces I'm putting in are these up here you get the idea they have raw edges so the theory is this nice clean edge rolled over seam rolled over seam those are exposed raw edges are not so what that tells me I haven't looked any of this up I'm gonna put this on first so that raw edge there is then covered up by this clean edge this bottom raw edge will then be covered up by the floor that raw edge on that side and on the bottom same thing so first two pieces to go on two side sort of wing pieces here then that one then the one below so there's a certain amount of logic to it that uh, hopefully will make sense but uh, I've test fit them already so we're good to go now I just gotta trim off a couple little bits of uh, straggling yarn and then I'm going to lather on the glue and slap them on gonna do this in chunks just those three see how it goes not sure I got enough glue left after doing the headliner do that and then uh, if it stays and it's on a vertical surface then I feel confident to start looking at doing the uh, floor bits so time to get to it So my general rule of thumb when I do a projects like this is the first time I got to do anything that's cosmetic, I do it on an area I'm not going to see very much. And I'm actually going to be able to see that section more than this section. So if I screw this up a little bit, most of the time my head's too high up to uh, see it. Just like when I was uh, starting some of the sanding on the door. I did it on the passenger side first because uh, if I screwed it up, I don't get in that side very much, if ever. Well, I'm assuming it's a sign of a good glue that this stuff absolutely stinks. That should have been a first clue about the uh, headliner spray on that I used. If you don't know what I'm talking about? Go back and look. It was a it was a bad experience. All right. Thank you. 
Okay, a little spot down here where the wire loom comes out. I'm not going to over glue that. A little bit of wrinkle here because it kind of bunches up. I don't think that'll be terribly noticeable. Let me try my, uh, let's see if I can pull that out a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better. And then I just followed the body line right here. If you can see that up in there. Put that nice seam right along there. Seems to all fit right in there. Goes right up there. I'm gonna call that a win. Time to do the other side. You probably just watched a lot of that and fast forward because it's pretty boring. I think we're pretty much ready to go here. So, upper corner, make sure you get it lined up with that body line. Like so. Once I feel like I've got that, now it's just a matter of keeping it away from the body, I think, just pulling it down. Sorry if I'm blocking your view. So these are cutouts for the uh, brake pedal, uh, the rod, and for the, uh, I don't know, one of the cables. Anyway, I widen them a little bit. So, little tip, barbecue lighter. This keeps the ends from fraying. I think it's pretty good coverage. I'm not entirely sure how much of this I want to stick to that. I know it's the upper part, but right here there's a uh, passenger footrest piece of metal that goes there and the carpet goes up that. So I don't need to glue anything down to that. My kid and her friends are playing on the driveway. So we'll all just put up with that.
Okay. Pretty pleased overall. I had to peel it up because this seam right here was not quite over far enough. So now I'm good. So these two notches here work for uh, this kick plate. Those two notches there so it drops in. And the next chunk of carpet that goes here goes all over this thing. So I think we're good. I think we're going to stop here and uh, try to get some fresh air and maybe a snack. And then I'll probably have to have, uh, get back to it. But uh, if not today, then maybe tomorrow. All right, I've completed the driver's side. Um, learned several mistakes along the way, so I'm going to do this side a little bit differently uh, and show you guys what I figured out. Um, first off, TMI stuff. Um, made in USA, Corona, which is about uh, eight miles that way. Good local stuff. I'm happy to give them my business. So, trimming off all the little scraps. Make sure you keep the barbecue lighter moving. If you don't, you burn it. But seeing as how this whole thing is plastic, doing that does get the job done. All right. So, um, it gets dropped into this channel here. Where'd my screwdriver go? gets dropped into this channel here because I'm using the uh, this is a 69 bug so this is 68 and up has a plastic runner um, along one edge that clamps in here so I'm just gonna go in and widen that up a little bit life is a little bit easier if you give yourself some room because you're gonna go in and hammer it down at the end now California car I got no rust here some of the other guys be gentle when you're doing the prying because you might find out that uh, it's not quite as secure as you thought uh, let's see big side goes towards this end doing a test fit and it's a little bit long, so I'm going to trim off just a teeny bit there. Like so. About a quarter of an inch. Now, what I did on the other side, that I'm not doing on this side, is I put glue on here, and I put glue on here. Then I tried to get it into this channel and fold it over. What I realized is, I can put it in this channel like this. Fold it back, glue, 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 and then roll it down. So I don't have to wrestle trying to get this thing into this channel, and it is wrestling. Um, I don't have to try to do that while it's gluey. Uh, sticky, not gluey. So you get the idea. So, time to start wrestling with that. I will 
probably not show all of this because it just looks silly. In fact, I'll bring you right back. And we're back. Okay. Clipped in, not glued in yet. A couple things I noticed. Um, number one, the uh, clamp down thing, open it wider than you think you need to. Trust me on that. Number two, doing this project and trying to give up using bad language, you can't do both. Number three, it sucks doing it either way, but not having it all covered in glue is better than having it covered in glue and trying to wrestle with it. So, all in all, it's down, clamped down, I should say. And now I'm gonna glue this thing up. Here we go. I am a little curious how this glue application is gonna go because it's obviously easier to put the glue on the carpet when the carpet is flat on the ground. Time for the new cam. Time to let it sit up for a minute. All right, we'll call that good. Okay, to keep tension on the rubber uh, trim piece here, I'm pulling this way and then down to give it a little bit more staying power. That's looking pretty good. Well, I gotta go to go to dinner and then get some schoolwork done tonight. So uh, this shall continue for you guys in just a few moments. But for me, probably Friday. trying to get you guys the best angle here so I'm shooting through the passenger side door window um, this is the nice piece to go in you do have to cut it out to go around the uh, emergency brake and the heater controls not a big deal what you want to do for your alignment is focus on getting the two sections that go under the seats and where the passenger uh, rear seat uh, feet well is then you get this thing nice and tight and you fold it over. It's in the right spot now and I've got it butted up against the emergency brake. So I basically know my cut line is about there. Okay. <clears throat> and then just using a square. Mine's about uh, four and a half to five inches. So I'm going to make it five. About there. Total width. Three to three and a half. I think I'll just go with three for now. I can always trim more later. So finding the center point here. Just eyeballing it. Center off of the uh, emergency brake handle. 
inch and a half on either side. And now I can just connect the dots. And that will get me my piece to cut out. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out, cut it, and bring it back and show you guys. Be right back. Okay, so now whereas before you lay everything out and then you put this on, I'm now going to put this on and check everything else off of that. Moment of truth, I have not done this before, so you guys are going to be witnesses to whether I was horribly off in my cutting or not. Okay, that works. That works. All good there. So now it's just uh, glue everywhere. And I'm going to glue the center section down all by itself. Roll these back. Glue, glue, lay it down, glue, glue, lay it down. Get the center section done first. All right. Nothing left to it but to do it. I'll just do this without you guys, I'll bring you back later. So I'm using the uh, back of the emergency brake as a way to sort of account for the center of the cut and therefore of the carpet itself. Keeping an eye on it, trying to make sure it goes down pretty straight. It's looking pretty good. And there is a little bit of give so that if necessary I can uh, adjust the parts that go underneath the seat and where the passenger's feet in the back go. Relatively speaking, I think that looks pretty good. Did change my gloves, got a little glue on them before. All right. Next bit. I'm pretty sure you can't see much of this, so uh, I'm just going to put glue on this, put glue on that. I'll film uh, this bit over here when you can see that a little better. All good. Time to move on to the uh, front driver's seat uh, passenger footwell. Okay, so I got that piece of metal in place so that I can properly fit this. The only hole you have to cut and you do it after you glue it in is for the shifter. Uh, mine has a pretty good ridge around it. The rubber uh, mm -hmm. sound deadening material that came with the bug is a little bit torn out. so. Uh, I'll make do, but it'll help make it uh, a little bit easier to find the hole for the shifter. Uh, 
Okay. All right, so in terms of sequence, if you do have that uh, sort of kick plate, um, I'm going to get the center tunnel in first because this carpet tucks in behind that metal sheet. So I'm going to get the center section in first. Then I will take care of this and the driver's side. Actually, I think I'm going to start with the driver's side, glue it, go over the hump and then stop, put that metal plate in, then glue that bit. Uh, because I want to make sure that the driver's footwell area uh, aligns properly because I don't want it messing around with the pedals and all that kind of stuff. So, quick peek. All looks pretty good. So I am going to proceed. All right. Glue, 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 glue. I'll bring you back when uh, I'm actually installing it. Okay, it was a little skewed. What I'm feeling for is clearance around the pedals themselves. Yeah, back a little bit more. Because if anything, you want to make sure that it's not going to obstruct anything mechanically. And I think that's about it. Pardon me if I put my butt in your face. There we go. Okay. All right. Same thing. Brush, brush, brush. Blue. Okay, what did I learn? A couple things. Number one, that placement is more important than that placement. So I should have started here because I got that where I liked it, but it's not a perfect fit. I mean, this is not the most expensive carpet. So after it went up, over, got all the way to this edge, this thing was off by a good half inch or more that way. So this area right here where that section comes down and touches the floor right there was in the wrong spot. So I needed to start there for my alignment. Then I would have been able to do the bottom here. Well, no, correction. Then I would have been able to say, okay, if that's my starting point, I need to start here along this seam, go up, over, all the way over. Then I put the metal piece in, then I glue this down, then I glue that down last. So that's what I should have done and did not do. But I was able to pull it up. It stays tacky for a while, uh, which is fine. And overall, looks pretty darn good if I do say so. I'm quite pleased. So just a quick pan back here. Pay no attention to that. So right now we're looking pretty good 
I am just about out of glue again though, which is kind of amazing, but I, I'm probably just putting on too much. But man, look at that. I am quite pleased. That red really pops. Even the red of the uh, roller wheel there now kind of pops. That's looking good. I still got to cut out the hole for the shifter. I'm not going to do that until I'm actually going to reinstall the shifter. That'll probably just happen in many small cuts, slowly working my way out. But up next is this, which are all these pieces here. So, gotta go buy some more glue and then I'm gonna have at it. Okay, so the rear section. You do the side wells first. One, two, you look for this notch out. It fits in right around here. So, gloves, brush, glue, barbecue lighter, and we're good to go. When you order the glue, if you order it from J Bugs, this is my second can, quart can, 12 bucks a can. Uh, the entire headliner and what I've done in the carpet so far is taken up two cans. I have more gluing to put on the back of the back seat and all that, so I have a third can. I'm probably going to end up using two and a half. That may be the result of me putting on too much glue. It may be the result of me putting on the right amount of glue. Who knows? But if you order it, assume you're going to need a lot of glue. And the more I use this glue, the more a fan of it I am. Last a little bit. It's like trying to get mustard out of the bottom of the jar. I'm going to let it sit up for a sec, and then... Uh, From what I understand, relief cuts will have to be made down in this area. I'm also noticing I probably have an exposed area here that uh, I'll have to patch with some vinyl. Yeah, probably a small triangle. Not what I was hoping for, but... I'm going to wait to trim the bottom. Except for this bit. It is for sure, nobody's going to doubt that I did all this work myself. It is not a professional quality. Okay, I'm going to take a time out for a minute here and uh, check this corner here. That patch. Looks like I'll probably have the same problem over there. So I'm going to put in the big piece and see uh, how close it gets. I think I'm going to have... A little triangle there, unfortunately. So uh, I got some spare vinyl. I'm gonna go uh, get that glued in. Be right back. And I've coated that area in glue. That part, about half of this. I'm gonna get all that glued in. 
fold it back, finish it up, cut it to tuck under, uh, you know, measure cut, fold it back, then glue, pop it in. So, I did have to do some repair back here. It doesn't look very good. I had to do some repair back there. It doesn't look very good. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. But um, I'm hoping once the carpet's in, that is largely minimized. And, uh, you know, I just won't spend much time back there. When I was a kid in my dad's, I used to sit back here with my brother. It was fun. Stupid, but fun. Not liking it. Come on. What do I need to do here? I'm going to do it all over again. All right. That's feeling better. It was a little crooked this way, a little crooked that way, a little over this way, a little over that way. Boy. Okay, not great, not bad. So, it's looking like it's about half an inch long. Yep. Like that. So, glue. Generally speaking, not bad, not great. But it looks pretty good. So I am ready to move on. I need to uh, get the door cards. I need to get uh, the rear seats in, that kind of stuff. Uh, I had mentioned putting in the door cards in this episode. I think I'm going to call it on this one uh, and just say this one's carpet. I will then do the door cards and the seat upholstery and all that stuff. And the backs, I have to uh, glue the back. There's more carpet. Always more carpet. Uh, I got to glue the carpet on to the back of the back seat so that when it folds down you'll see that um so i gotta take care of that too that'll be in the next episode uh, i'll probably be getting to that uh, sometime next week hopefully get an episode of that up um within the next uh, week and a half or so so i am about done it's finals week i have a lot of grading to do and uh meetings and all that junk so uh i'm trying to sneak this in where i can but uh Time to get to work, the other work. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing. Comments, thumbs up, any of that stuff you want to give me, that'd be great. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of suggestions on what I should have done differently. You can offer them if you want, but it's too late now. So uh, we're going to have to stick with what I got. All right. Progress. I need fresh air. This glue stinks. See you guys.